For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where you have this 200 pound container and it's suspended by this uh, 6 foot long cable and it's attached at A, B. Now they tell you that it can also be attached at A and C and they want to know which one is better for the cable. In other words, in which way of lifting it and suspending it, the cable has the least amount of tension. So first let's calculate the tension along how it's shown on this diagram. So you got a tension here and a tension here. And you know that this tension is the same because it's all attached in one cable. And you got the weight of this crate is 200 pounds. So the force has to be equal to 200 pounds in order to be able to be suspended because you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is always equal to zero. So we have these two right triangles. Let me redraw it. This is 200 pounds. This is the force of 200 pounds. You know that if this whole cable is six foot long, you know that this is three feet and this is three feet, right? And you're telling you that from here to the center is two feet. So this is two feet and this is two feet. So right there you can find this angle, let's call it theta. So you know that cosine of theta is equal to 2 over 3. So theta is the cosine inverse of 2 over 3, which comes out to be 48.2 degrees. So this theta is 48.2 degrees. So now, you know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to 0. So 200 pounds, let me just write 200, minus, you know, you got this tension right here these tensions right here these are all T T E and T so you got right here you got the force going up and the two tensions going down so two tensions going down times the sine of theta because you need the y components of these two tensions is equal to zero so when you solve for the tension, since you already have theta, you already have it, you just plug it in. You solve for the tension and you get that the tension is equal to 134.14 pounds. And that is with this configuration. Now, if you were to attach these two cables instead of AB, you were going to attach them right here to C and right here to D you will get something with a bit of a more steeper angle. So this is still 200 pounds. This is the tension, let's call it T prime, to call it something different. Again, the cable is six foot long, so that means that this is three and this is three. However, Look at the distances between here to here and from here to here is one foot. So this is one and this is one. And let's call this angle phi. These two angles are the same phi. So you know that cosine of phi is equal to one third. Therefore, phi is the cosine inverse of one third, which comes out to be 70.52 degrees. You know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. So 200 going up minus 2 t, let's call it prime, sine of phi, which we have is equal to 0. So when you solve for t prime, you're going to get that it is equal to 106.1 pounds. So as you can see, when you attach the cable to C and D, you get only 106.1 pounds. And when you attach it to A and B, you get 134 Point fourteen pounds. So the one that's better for the cable is attaching it to C and D.
and the tension is 106.1 because you have to see what is this tension. So final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.